today I actually wanted to do like a um, favourites slash review. I really enjoy doing favourites videos actually and I feel like I can actually get carried away talking about products which is probably why I really enjoy doing favourite videos. So I have like a whole load of products that I've just been dying to share. So basically when I mentioned in my previous video where I did have like a mini break from YouTube I did kind of just carry on like purchasing a few products and they kind of just accumulated over time and now I have like quite a lot to share. But if you guys would like to see what products I do have to share then carry on watching. Okay so I'm kind of going to go in order so I'm going to start with skincare first. Um, I think majority of the products are a little bit more of the skincare side but um, I do have a few makeup bits and bobs in there as well. So the first product I'm going to start off with is this Pixi Fortify um, Firming Eye Patches. So they have two different types in these. So they have like a firming one and a de-puffing one. So I went with the firming one because I don't really feel like I have um, any puffiness underneath my eyes. If anything, I'd love to firm it up. So yeah, I went with the firming eye patches and these are actually great. I don't really use any kind of eye creams or I haven't actually tried any eye masks or any eye patches like this before, but these are actually really good. So I'm just gonna open it up and kind of show, oh, show you guys. So this actually comes with um, this spatula. So this is actually used for picking out the eye patches from the actual tub. So when I open it, they are pretty slimy. So this is actually kind of split into two. So obviously left and right. And you kind of just pick it up with the spatula. Hopefully you guys can see. I don't want the serum to kind of like fall out. So you just kind of pick it up with the spatula and then you're just kind of good to apply that on with your fingers if you wish. It's just more hygienic to kind of take it out with the spatula from the actual tub. So this, you only want to leave it on your under eye area for about 10 minutes and then you just peel it off and throw it in the bin. The residue that's left over, you don't want to rinse that off. What you want to do is just kind of lightly massage that in into your under eye area and your skin will be super smooth. There is one thing, so I haven't actually noticed when I do kind of apply makeup over it, it does tend to peel in certain areas. So I would actually recommend using this um, just before you go to bed or if you do plan on wearing makeup after wearing these eye patches. So what you do want to do then is really make sure that you do massage the product in because you don't want any signs of flaking or peeling. It's not really flaking, I would say it actually peels. So it kind of, and you can tell it's from the residue that's been left over. So if you do leave on quite a little bit of a thick layer of it, it will kind of peel off certain areas of your makeup or concealer. But other than that, I love the effect that it actually does give to your under eye area. Super smooth and it does... Um, at first, actually, I didn't actually notice the firming, but when I did actually kind of watch my Instagram videos over, I did notice the area underneath my eye was actually looking pretty firm. Okay, so next I have quite a few primers. Um, so I'm going to start off with Fasali. I have mentioned um, the Skin Tune Blur Primer in one of my previous videos. I think it was my favourites videos, and it's still my favourites. Hands down, I have used that primer every single day since I've purchased it. But then recently, I purchased the Liquid Glass Serum. So I'm not sure if this is really like a primer, but um, it does actually say serum. But I wear it as, not really as like a primer. So this, I actually only apply it to the high points of my cheeks. That is it, because I already have oily skin. And I don't want to overload and have my skin looking super oily. But yeah, so this is the Liquid Glass and this is amazing. So because my skin is oily, I have actually stopped wearing highlighter. Um, the other reason why is also I feel like it kind of really emphasizes my pores. Or if I do break out in that certain area, I've really got to try to avoid applying highlighter. And then towards the end of the day, my face just looks really oily when I do wear highlighter. So that is the kind of reason why I have actually stopped. 
but this stuff even though it highlights um it kind of blurs your pores so it does not emphasize your pores whatsoever and this really does make your skin look like glass i have kind of applied a little bit just on my high points today hopefully you guys will be able to see it but i've only just put the tiniest amount like literally all i do is just put one two drops that is it and i just pat that gently into the high points of my cheeks sometimes i do kind of bring it up um, above my brow bone but that's it that's the only areas where I do actually apply this so when you do apply this this is really runny compared to the um, skin tune blur primer this stuff is very very watery um, and it does have a tendency to run down so you do kind of have to be a little bit quick if you do only want it in certain areas See that? I'm not even squeezing the top part of the pipette and it's just like dripping out. That's how runny it is. So I'm just going to apply some to actually show you guys. It really does feel like a serum when you apply it. But hopefully you guys can kind of see the effect that it does give to your skin. And it's beautiful. So I haven't actually tried this um, over my makeup. Um, but I have been wearing it under my makeup and it is Stunning. So in one of my Instagram videos I did actually apply a highlighter on top of this and it made it pop like 10 times harder. Normally when I applied the powder highlight, like I said, it kind of emphasises the pores but I feel like with this applied underneath it didn't and it didn't even look powdery or anything like that, it went on so smooth. And it still had that glass like finish and this you can even wear this when you're not wearing makeup and it gives a really nice natural glow kind of finish to your um, natural skin as well it doesn't look like you're wearing any sort of makeup whatsoever it looks like your skin is naturally kind of just glowing and illuminated so this I highly recommend the bad point with this one is that it's not available on cult beauty yet so I did have to purchase it from the Fasali website so not actually anything wrong with the product itself it's just trying to get a hold of it other than that I highly do recommend this liquid glass Okay, so next product is my Skin Tune Blur Primer from Fasali also. So this one I haven't actually um, used yet because I am still, I'm just about finishing up on my other one but I didn't want to run out so I did purchase a backup. That is how much I do actually love this. So this one is another product from Fasali that I feel like I really do get along with and my skin loves this stuff. I actually feel like it's got a little bit of skincare in there as well. I feel like I can wear this on days when I'm not wearing makeup and it does my skin wonders. I feel like it does kind of fade any signs of any open pores or anything like that and it really creates a smooth surface um, for your skin so it's ready and prepped and primed for any makeup application this stuff is really good this actually smells really good as well i feel like it smells like cucumbers it's got kind of a sweet but um, citrusy kind of scent to it. So the Fasali Liquid Glass, this one actually smells like oranges, um, but this one smells, I feel like, cucumbers. This one is really moisturising as well, which is a great thing. The only thing I would say that after a while, it does kind of tend to um, thicken up. So I did actually open this bottle for this video because my other one is, it is completely... Uh, kind of gone and I can't show you properly but in this one um, it's not as runny as the liquid glass but over time this tends to thicken up and to be honest it does get a little bit difficult to try and get the product out from the bottle the pipette doesn't really suck it up as well when it does thicken up even though it does thicken up it still does what it's supposed to do the product doesn't weaken or anything like that over time i feel like it applies the same but yeah it does thicken up but this is really really great and the other thing good about this one it is available on cult beauty so if you do want to get your hands on it it is available um to purchase so while we're still on the subject of primers, my next product is going to be the oh, Milk Grip Primer. So this one, um, I was actually dying to get my hands on this primer and it was like out of stock um, quite a few times when I did try and oh, purchase it. But I'm trying to, I don't know why I keep it in these boxes, honestly. 
Okay, so what I like about this is actually the pump. So you can just pump out as much as you want. So it's very hygienic as well to use. But the actual product itself, um, just pump some there. So it's literally like a gel consistency. Yeah, so it does get very tacky. So I don't think this dries down completely matte. It does actually have a slight sheen to it. Um, but yeah, that is getting really tacky. But it does actually really grip onto your makeup really well. Um, I haven't actually used this, to be honest, that much. I think I've used this about three or four times. To be honest, I haven't actually noticed any difference compared to my Fasali primer. Um, I do actually prefer my Fasali primer a lot more better. That one does actually do a few other things um, than just kind of gripping onto your makeup and making your makeup last longer and it does give like a smoothing effect whereas this one doesn't really give a smoothing effect or anything like that so when this does actually dry it does kind of feel smooth but it's not as smooth as the Fasali primer or it's not like a smoothing effect kind of smooth where you know that it's going to smooth over your pores and everything like that or any texture that you may have on your skin. This primer I think is mainly just to hydrate and keep your makeup looking fresh throughout the day which I think it does do. So next product is actually this Milk Cannabis Hydrating Face Mask. My skin has really been loving hydrating products recently. I don't know whether it's because of the Dermapen or not, but I really feel a difference when I apply any product with hyaluronic acid or anything hydrating. My skin really drinks it up. And the reason why I do actually feel like that is because instantly, as soon as I apply a product with hyaluronic acid or any sort of hydration, my skin instantly feels a lot more smoother, firmer and a lot more plumper as well. So I love this mask because it's really um, catered for like if you're on the go and it's easy to store as well. It's quite small, it looks quite big when you do see other people holding it or when you do see on the website. Um, I expected it to be a little bit bigger. It is quite small but I actually love this um, packaging, um, especially for a mask. I've never actually seen a mask in this type of packaging before. So it comes with like this plastic cap which I like to keep and also comes with like a basic screw on lid. So you can twist however much product you want and then twist it back down as well. So I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand just for you guys to see. Instantly when you apply it, it feels really really um, cool. So it has quite a cooling effect and it feels um, a little bit wet as well. It feels cool and it feels wet. So this one is a, a little bit shiny and you can tell that it's ready to take off when it does dry down matte and this one takes about I think about 10 minutes, not that long. Um, but it's really good for making your skin smooth. So it actually says on the box, um, hydrate in a flash, solid clay mask stick instantly moisturizes, calms and soothes for a revitalized complexion. So it does actually do every single thing that it states on the back of the box. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys the finger, I literally had an itch. But yeah, it does everything that it states on the back of the box. I am really impressed with this product. Like I said, um, I haven't actually tried any hydrating products before, but I'm so impressed with this mask and the rest of the hydrating products I've actually tried. So this one you can go ahead and grab it from Cult Beauty. The last time I checked this was back in stock and it is available to purchase. So next I actually have this um, Glam Glow Instamud. Um, it's a 60 second pore refining treatment. So this one you only want to leave on your skin for 60 seconds. This one's kind of different so um, I have used it so that's why I excuse if it is a little bit dirty. But this one is a little bit different because um, it goes on uh, like a cream consistency but then it actually turns into a foam. So I'll just leave it on there. 
So once this does actually dry, it turns into like a foam consistency and it's really easy to even just like wipe off. But I suggest actually washing it off just to make sure. It does say um, 60 seconds, so I don't think you should be leaving it on any longer than that. So it says to um, smooth a generous layer onto dry skin and do not rub in. So let sit and the mask will transform into oxygenating bubbles. Uh, leave on for 60 seconds, rinse with warm water, follow with your regular treatment routine, uh, use 2-3 times a week or often as desired. So um, this one, I don't think instantly, to be honest, it does anything magical. So I don't know if you guys can actually see, um, I think maybe I need to put on like a thicker layer, but it has kind of foamed up. Um, a little bit just there but you do actually want to wash this off don't wipe it off but yeah so I don't think anything magical happens within that 60 seconds but it does give like a nice brightening effect and the skin does look um, a little bit more clearer I'll be honest um, it does look a little bit more clearer but I prefer the other glam glow mask that I've actually tried I don't know if this is actually classed as a mask or anything so yeah this one's okay I wouldn't actually say it's something that I would actually go out of my way to repurchase again um, I'll probably just use it up and see how I get along with it but um, yeah I don't really see myself repurchasing this one again but it's okay but this one is good if you really enjoy your skincare routine and you just want to do something a little bit different because it does foam up so it's not something that you get um, in your usual skincare routine so if you just want to try something a little bit different I would say give this a go but yeah like I said it's nothing magical guys you don't have to rush to kind of go and get this so I'm just going to move on to a few of like the makeup products now and um, I'm just going to talk about foundation so recently I've purchased two foundations so I purchased the Beauty Blender foundation and I purchased the, the Tarte Face Tape foundation so with these two foundations I think I actually um, got them a shade lighter because they didn't have my shade in stock this one I think they did but I was just so confused as to which shade to actually get but this one's not that bad compared to my beauty blender one so this one is actually quite light I can still kind of get away with it if I build up on my contour and my bronzer but um, it is fairly light so this one I got in the shade 240 and the Tarte I got in a light medium neutral so this one's not too bad because I feel like it doesn't oxidise but I feel like when it does dry it dries down a little bit darker than when applied wet. So I'm just going to quickly talk about the Tarte foundation first. I think this one has amazing coverage but I feel like even though it has amazing coverage there are other foundations out there that have amazing coverage but don't look cakey or too thick. This one, I feel like if you do build it up, it can look cakey and thick. You have to be very careful when you do apply this. So I will pump some on the back of my hand for you guys to see. You can see it's fairly light, um, but this one is in the shade Neutral. But because this has a neutral undertone, I feel like that's what kind of helps it make it kind of work as well. Because if I picked a completely different undertone then yeah I would be screwed in this situation so um so yeah when I rub this in it feels thick guys it does feel really really thick but I don't know if you can see or tell but it does give a flawless coverage so when you do apply it it looks really nice but throughout the day um I feel like it kind of makes your pores look dry so this one really depends on how you wear it if you wear a little bit then i feel like it's okay coverage wise it won't really look too thick and cakey but if you try and build this one up then throughout the day it will kind of emphasize some areas where you do have um larger pores or it can kind of cling to dry patches as well but this can kind of start to look cakey so moving on to the beauty blender foundation so the beauty blender foundation 
Um, I actually do really like this foundation. So I want to actually try and repurchase this one in my exact shade. So I can kind of give like a precise uh, review on it. But at the moment I can only kind of just talk about like the texture and the consistency and how it kind of wears. So if I just pump some on the back of my hand. There it is there. So... But this one does feel a lot more creamier than the Tarte foundation. But it's not as pigmented and when it um, dries down it doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup or it doesn't feel thick or anything like that throughout the day. What I will say is that I feel like I get very oily um, when I do wear this foundation. So when I do apply it, it's fine, but throughout the day I feel like I can get quite oily with this foundation. Especially on my nose area, I feel like yeah it gets really really oily on my nose but i do actually like the coverage so i wouldn't actually say this is a full coverage foundation i would say it's more of a medium to full coverage and you can build this one up so this foundation won't get cakey which is a good thing but the only thing is is that yeah it gets oily so if i'm going somewhere and um maybe i'm going somewhere for like a short amount of time i would wear this foundation because i feel like it is like an everyday kind of foundation it gives like a really nice natural look to your skin and it doesn't look like makeup this one just really kind of mimics your skin again this is in a shade lighter i can actually get away with it with the um, added bronzer and contour because this one is also in a neutral undertone guys don't know like undertone is very 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 important when picking your foundation shade if you don't have the right undertone the foundation is not going to sit right um, the colour won't match obviously and it may um, get to a stage where something looks off in your makeup but you can't figure out what exactly it is or throughout the day you will actually kind of feel like your foundation oxidises a lot more on you because it is the wrong undertone so when it does oxidise where which some foundations do um, it's going to oxidise to a completely different shade and undertone so it's going to be a lot more noticeable when it does oxidise or when the foundation does dry and set. And sometimes if you do have the correct undertone, you can get away with um, wearing a shade lighter or darker. A shade, by the way, yeah, not like five shades down or five shades up. You can get away with wearing a shade lighter or darker than your actual skin tone um, as long as you have the correct undertone. So this one has actually dried down now and yeah, um, it's not that bad. Um, I would literally just say it's a shade lighter, but I do actually really enjoy wearing this foundation. And I would actually say get this foundation for the finish that it actually gives because it is like a natural finish and it's flawless at the same time as well, which is really good because it's natural and it's flawless. So therefore it actually makes your skin look naturally flawless. So when I did purchased the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, um, I got the Beauty Blender Redo Setting Spray. So this one, you can see how much I've actually used it. So I have used this quite a bit as well and um, I don't even think it's come down that much, just slightly from the top there. But this one, it's like, oh my god, like it's just come all the way down. So uh, when you take this one off, it has another cap on it as well, which I find so pointless. I don't know why they have two caps. But yeah, this one is so light. It's so, like, I'm sure you can see it. But when it actually lands on your skin, it's very, very, very fine. And you hardly feel it landing on your face. So with this one, I feel like, I end up spraying a lot more. I can easily go overboard with this one um, because I can't feel it. So I feel like it hasn't actually reached the points where I want it to reach. So I just keep on going and going and yeah. So I can get really oily with this one as well. If you apply just a little bit, um, it does give a really nice effect, but it gives it a little bit later on rather than not, I want to say straight away because I don't really feel like 
the setting sprays really give the effect straight away. It's more like an hour or two um, into the makeup where you actually kind of see the effect of the setting spray. So with this one, I feel like um, when I do apply it, it doesn't really take away um, the powdery effect or anything like that. So when I do apply my setting spray, I like to apply it after I've um, baked. So when I've baked my face is when I like to go in with my setting spray. And when I do apply my setting spray, I do notice that instantly it kind of takes away any powdery look and it just makes the foundation, the powder, everything just come, comes together and it kind of becomes one. Um, but with this one, I feel like takes a very long time for it to kind of give that effect or achieve that effect or even get to that stage. When I spray this it doesn't instantly take that powdery or it doesn't like make your makeup become one instantly so it does take time. I feel like this one takes time for it to actually kick in and do what it's got to do and then by the time it has kicked in I've realised I've applied too much and I've gone overboard um, but yeah this one if you use it just slightly um, it might be okay. Some of you guys may actually love this. Like, just remember guys, what I might not get along with, you guys might love. There might be people out there that actually really love this. I just feel like for the price as well, so this one's £27. I feel like for the price, it goes super quickly. Maybe it's just me because I couldn't actually feel it and I just went through it like super quick. But I do feel like this finishes really quickly. But before you use this, you have to really shake it up as well because um, if you just leave this sitting there, it will kind of separate. So I'm really happy with the foundation, but not so much with the actual setting spray. I feel like it's a little bit too pricey and it goes quickly and it doesn't really give me the effect I want until like later, later, later on in the day. So yeah, I wouldn't really repurchase this one again. Okay, so I have another setting spray and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Set. So this one... So when I first opened the box, I actually thought that it was actually filled with glitter, but it's not. It's just the packaging. Um, I've checked the actual product does not contain any glitter or shimmer whatsoever so just by looking at this instantly it just reminds me of the MAC Fix Plus come on guys so even the way that it locks MAC Fix Plus the shape the top portion of the lid MAC Fix Plus everything is literally just like the max fix plus and sometimes I even feel like it applies like the max fix plus I don't know is this max fix plus or what but this is actually good I do actually like this one this one's 27 pounds as well I'm not sure if I would repurchase this one again I don't know I'm still like 50 50 but I do actually like this one I don't really have anything bad to say about this one apart from the fact that it's just a complete dupe for the MAC fix plus but yeah and this does get rid of like the powdery look and stuff instantly as well which I like but repurchasing wise like I said it's 50 50 okay so my next product is this little cutie right here this one is a lifesaver so she recently released um color brow gels which I think is genius and about time as well because I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury legendary brows and I really 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 liked that one I really liked the actual spoolie for the legendary brows because it was really really fine and it could really get into those tiny tiny little hairs um, the spoolie on this one is slightly bigger I don't know if uh, I don't think I have my legendary brows at hand anywhere to actually show you guys but yeah, so the spoolie is actually slightly a little bit bigger. Don't know if you guys can see. But you really have to try and get the hang of actually using this. But once I did get the hang of using this, love it. So I don't even use my Anastasia Dip Brow um, pomade anymore. I literally just use this and that is it. So not only can I use this to kind of brush my brows and hold them into place, but I can actually shape my brows with this as well. What I do is just I brush it through my brows and then I'll just get like an angled brow brush and then I'll just do a few strokes along the top and the bottom part of my eyebrow and it literally kind of like 
combs and covers like at the same time so I don't really need any other brow product and this holds your brows in place as well. This is literally like an all-in-one and I love it. And the other thing, it literally takes me two minutes to do my eyebrows. So lately I've been loving products that don't take long to kind of apply or like kind of you know use or anything like that because I don't really want to do too much lately and I just love quick on the go type of products and this is one of them like two minutes literally it takes two minutes to do my eyebrows like for me if you are spending 10 to 15 minutes just doing your eyebrows that's too long like for me within 15 to 20 minutes I could do like my whole foundation concealer contour everything like my whole base for my face I can do everything within 15 to 20 minutes and that is just too long for applying eyebrows so the shade I have is medium brown and I feel like it's the perfect shade it's not too dark and it's not too light so it's just right perfect like in the middle and where I have the balayage I feel like it kind of balances as well because I don't want my brows to be like standing out too much or be too dark. Another thing this is great for is giving a really natural effect to your brows as well and it doesn't look like that you've done too much or you've applied too much brow product. It doesn't make your eyebrows look blocky or anything like that either. And like I said you could also shape your eyebrows with this which is a plus bonus point product. So my next product, um, I wasn't actually going to put it in this video but I actually used it to get ready for the video and I thought why am I not actually putting this in the video? It should be in the video. It's the Huda Beauty um, Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadows. These are fantastic as well. Like so quick and easy to use. So it literally took me like 5-7 to seven minutes to do my eye makeup and that's eyebrows included. I only have um, three of these but the shades that I used were these two. So it's in Private Jet and Bubble Bath. So the darkest shade uh, which was Private Jet I used for my crease and I just applied um, Pink Champagne uh, which is the shimmery end of the Bubble Bath one. So I applied the shimmery end just all over my lid, just from like below my crease and all over my lid and then I just lined my eyes. So I don't normally like do a winged eyeliner or wear eyeliner on the top of my eyelids um, but because my eyelash extensions are in such a bad state I had to kind of like hide it with like a thick winged eyeliner so yeah hopefully you guys can't see like the mess that my eyelashes are actually in. I haven't even found time to actually go and get my eyelashes done so yeah I had to like kind of pile on the eyeliner today. But I feel like the shimmery side to it as well is um, really 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 good quality um, they almost look like foiled eyeshadow it's so pigmented and it's really strong really long lasting as well it doesn't fade or anything like that the matte side to these are really blendable so the shimmery sides aren't as blendable I would say as the matte side um, I just feel like the shimmer side if you want to apply the shimmer apply it last because if you apply any eyeshadow on top it will look flaky if you apply any dry or matte shadow on top of it so I would say apply any of the shimmery side of the shadows last so I'll just show you this green one so you guys can see and so sorry for any bad swatches but yeah these are super pigmented and if you were to blend it out like look at that like it just instantly blends I would say if you want to blend blend it quick don't wait for it to dry obviously um but yeah blend it when it's wet and you will get a beautiful blend I'm just going to quickly swatch the shimmery side as well just so you guys can see oh my god look at that yeah so hopefully you can see how it does give that foiled effect. I really think these are worth the money because you're getting two eyeshadows as well in one. And they're £22, which is not too bad um, because you are getting two. The other thing I would say with these as well, it actually looks like you've spent a lot of time on your eye makeup when really you haven't. And I feel like even if you're not good at applying any eyeshadow or you're not good at makeup in general like these are really great I feel like these are like foolproof um, you can't go wrong with these and it actually looks like you've made an effort with your makeup 
and the shimmer is so stunning on these so it's really great for like a wedding or any type of event if you have to go to one the shimmers on these are just so pigmented and stunning okay so we are reaching the end of the video and this is my last product that I'm about to show you guys the Huda Beauty Power Bullet what can I say about these? Like, firstly, I would say if you have not tried these lipsticks, you have to go and grab yourself. Just try one at least and tell me you don't love them. I have never actually um, owned a lipstick or felt a lipstick with a formula like these. Like, these lipsticks, like, have to be the first lipstick for me um, where I find, like, nothing goes wrong. So the packaging is got like this magnetic lid so I love the packaging I love how you can tell what color it is from the actual packaging and how it just fades down into the black so this is in the shade third date and let me just show you from like one swatch hopefully you can see like super pigmented so creamy and it's really really smooth as well and the other great thing about these lipsticks as well is that even though they're super pigmented and creamy it actually doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips at all it is almost like a liquid lipstick but I wouldn't say it's as powerful as a liquid lipstick um, a liquid lipstick you could kind of um, drink anything eat anything with these, I feel like if you were to drink or eat, uh, you would have to uh, reapply. It would still be there, but it's just on the inner parts where it does kind of like rub off with the food and the drink. But apart from that, I don't think you would actually have to reapply the lipstick. It's really, really strong and it's very comfortable, which is the main thing. But sometimes when I feel like um, I I'm wearing like a more of a natural kind of makeup, um, instead of just swiping it on, what I would do is actually I would just kind of dab it in like the middle parts of my lips. So you can kind of see that it's a lot more lighter than just swiping it on. So after dabbing, I would just kind of blend it out with my fingers on my lips. Um, really to just kind of give that natural kind of tint rather than just a full-on lipstick effect so these are great for that as well and the main thing is that they actually last throughout the day so I have these in um, six shades um, what I will do I'll quickly swatch the shades for you the only two shades that I don't have is um, payday and ladies night um, I'm not too fussed about getting payday because I feel like it's pretty similar to some of the colours that I have already um, but ladies night I do actually want to purchase because I feel like it's the stunning red and when I actually got these lipsticks they didn't actually have um, ladies night in stock at the time I do think that they have all of them in stock now so yeah I think I will actually go ahead and purchase ladies night because it is a stunning deep red Okay, so I'm just going to start with the shade Joyride, and what I do, I just swatch going all the way down my arm. So I just do Joyride at the top here. Oh, sugar. So you can see it's a very, like, natural nude colour, and it's very wearable for, like, an everyday look. Even if you swipe it on or just dab it on, whatever. You can wear this as an everyday makeup look as well. Or you can even wear this with, like, a really heavy smoky eye and, like, a neutral lip. So this next shade is Interview which is a little bit lighter than the Joyride, but it is a very nudey sort of pinky peach colour. I would say that Interview has like a slight peachy tone in there. And then this one is Pool Party. So sorry for any bad swatching guys, I can see you going wonky already. But yeah, so that is Pool Party right there. And it's like a purpley sort of mauve -y kind of shade, it's really stunning. So this one is Third Date again. I just thought I'll put it in with the rest of them just so that you can kind of um, see the colours better. So with the date you can kind of see it's very similar to Pool Party, it's just a different undertone. Third date is more on the uh, ready pinkier side whereas Pool Party was on the purpley side. So this one is I think my favourite one out of the whole bunch and it's graduation day. This one is actually, I would say, um, lighter than pool party and third date. This one 
it looks stunning when you dab it, when you apply it straight, swipe it on, whatever. This one's really, really nice. So this one's just like um, a little bit like a shade darker than my actual lip colour. Which is why I think I actually really like it. Because it is still on like the natural side but you can wear it up or wear it down. Lastly, I hope you guys are ready for this one. So this one is in the shade Masquerade and it is the darker shade that is even available in these um, lipsticks. So this Masquerade shade, um, I know it looks scary but this one is also great for dabbing and it gives like a stunning like deep deep burgundy shade. So if I was just to like kind of just dab that. Like you can see it's not as intense as what you see down here, it's completely different. And if I was to kind of just dab it with my fingers and just blend that out. So again you just end up with this really really nice tint. So I just wanted to show you guys like there is a different way of actually wearing this shade. You don't have to wear it this intense, you can tone it down. And I feel like all of these shades, like every single one of these shades would complement a ton of different type of like skin tones I don't think it matters what colour you are like you would find a shade even the whole collection you might even love the whole collection I just feel like it's really well suited for all different types of skin tones okay guys so that is actually it for this video and just another quick disclaimer reminder um, whatever products may have worked for me it may not work for you or Whatever products may not have worked for me might actually work for you. So it does completely depend on your skin type and, you know, just on your skin. And certain products that do work for me just might not be the one for you. So yeah, so please make sure to comment, rate and subscribe. Follow me over my Instagram if you don't already do so. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.